Well, what's up, YouTube? So, today, what we've got is we're going to talk about wet clutches. I don't know what one is. I kind of found out what one was. And then realized they're like $150, $200, and I'm not going to buy one. So, how do we finish hooking up my motor on the racing go kart without a wet clutch? Because I don't want to spend the money for it. <clears throat> So I'm going to go over my thought process of everything, what I ended up doing. Uh, this video will come out before I actually finish it up. So the next video you see will be me hopefully running the cart. I think the motor might be meh, in a bad spot, but let's look at this. <clears throat> so this is the setup we got right now. Get the motor mount here. Extra set of holes for the 212. Thinking these are for 420 setup for a uh, Honda 390. You can see right here where it was welded previously and back here. So I just moved the plate up to weld it. So the original thought was, hey, let's um, move the plate, you know, here. We'll do a jack shaft, jack, oh, every time I try and say it, a jack shaft setup, <clears throat> you know, with the uh, torque converter here, and it'll run over to here, and then that'll run back to the sprocket. <clears throat> well, I was trying to like, think about it, okay, this is going to have to go up here, all the way up here, that's going to be right there next to you, jack shaft's going to come across, it's going to be a sprocket, you know, the sprocket coming off the back going to the jack shaft it's another sprocket here and then over here to another sprocket and then back and you have to build a plate so this one could spin free but this one because of the way everything lined up <clears throat> it's going to be like right over the plate and the pillow block is going to be here so then i was thinking about like putting a plate here and a plate here and like all different ways and i was just like getting frustrated with it so i was like i'm not going to do it so I decided to go here. I said, I took the other plate. There's one mounted here as well. I'll just put a plate here, right? It'll be easy. Mount the motor here. Take the, take the gas cap or the gas tank off. So the mount, boom. Torque converter will be here, and I'll just run a jack shaft through and over to there. But then I was looking at where the motor sits, where the jack shaft would have to be mounted on the plate and having to step it up and move it back and the, all kinds of different stuff to like get it to line up and then come over here and then run to here and then all the weight would be like essentially behind the axle. <clears throat> I still like that idea so I can move the seat over because if you look that's definitely off center when you drive it's kind of a pain in the butt to touch the gas. Um, but what I ended up doing was just mounting the motor here, did something different with the torque converter, lined it up to where it's about even with the sprocket, and I should have enough room, and it should work out. So, let me show you what I did, and you guys can tell me if you think it'll work out. Oh, the lighting in here sucks. Hold on. Where's my phone? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I had a call. Oh well. Let's turn some lights on in here. Boom, boom. Come on. Happy, happy. Boom. There we go. A little bit better light. A little bit. So, torque converter is on. And I put the sprocket where the nut would go and I took the sprocket I grabbed my phone for actual light here we go is that better? alright took the sprocket off of there put washers to space it out so it would line up with the front pulley you get your driven thing there and instead of a nut on the end got my sprocket 
So I should be able to just run my sprocket straight down. Oh, shout out to Stardust Tattoo. Woo woo. Should just be able to run my sprocket over. <clears throat> From there to the motor. And that should hold. It's got two set screws in it. Uh, put some thread lock in there. Uh, cut it along her keyway. And boom, it's in there. So, that's the video. That's what uh, what I think of wet clutches is screw wet clutches. Screw wet clutches. Like $200 for um, a jack, sha jack shaft setup. Oh yeah, so yeah, let's go back to that. So, basically the reason the motor was mounted here is because that jack shaft setup is like literally like this wide. So it can sit up right up against the seat, right? <clears throat> It's almost like a torque converter but it can go up so like the motor is over it's on the crankshaft here and normally these motors are put at an angle like this anyways so that comes up like this basically the shaft comes out of the motor goes into a big box like a jack shaft but it's got discs and stuff in there so like two different ratios and whatever and it comes back this way and then another shaft comes out that you mount a sprocket to and then that sprocket is connected to this sprocket with a chain that's that's the way those racing wet clutches work out i may end up doing that i have no idea but i'm hoping with moving this motor mount air that i'll be able to put a 420 here so i really think that these motor mounts are for a honda 390 slash predator 420 you get a 420 for you know less than 400 bucks boom I think I've got enough clearance. One day I'd like to do something with the seat to get more room, but I'll do it with it the way it is. That's the video. Leave a like, subscribe, and the next one will be us taking the cart out. Later.